Good morning, everybody. Today is August 10th. It's about like 8.30 or so. We're gonna get this day started. I'm actually gonna hit up the dentist today. I'm gonna go do that first. And then go get my hybrid battery replaced because my car decided to uh, die out on me and give me an unwanted expense, man. So I'm gonna get that changed out. I still gotta drive it though, even though it might die on me any, at any time, but I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens, right? Let's hope for the best, because it's been a rough month. It's been a rough, yeah, rough month, man. But here we are. Let's see how the OC fair goes later, actually, for my girlfriend's sister's birthday. Uh, we're gonna sneak in some drinks and drink cheap, cheaply. So, so, just driving to work. Get my check engine light. Actually, this was two days ago. I get my check engine light. I'm like, fuck. I work all week. I don't got time to go during the week. I was like, you know what? I'll get it checked out on Friday when I'm off early and I can, and I don't work both jobs, so I can, you know, have free time to go do it. This whole day and a half, I was worrying about, fuck, I hope it's not the battery replacement because that's like about two grand to get replaced because it's the hybrid battery, it's more expensive, yada, blah, blah, blah. That's the one negative that comes with owning a Prius. But on my lunch break, I decided, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I got 30 minutes, there's an auto zone like five minutes from here, like, let's go get it checked out. I raced my ass over there to get it checked out. And I'm like, hey, bro, can you check my check engine line? He's like, yeah, bro, I got you. Like, yeah, fucking sweet. This guy comes out, checks my checks my fucking uh, my OBD port, plugs in his little machine, go back inside, and lo and behold, he's like, yeah, man, it's your battery. I'm like, fuck my life. Like, great. The most expensive thing that could happen to a car. Of course, that happens. After that, you know, I set my mind to him. I'm like, fuck, whatever. I got to pay for it. It's going to happen. Like, I can't. I can't avoid this. Uh, I can't, turn. can't avoid this. So, I'm already at peace with the money I have to spend, you know, because shit happens. Then I come home, and my dog, which by the way is an emotional support animal, um, gets separation anxiety when we leave the house all day, every day. He claws at the windows, claws at the doors, trying to get in the house. And he pushed one of our back windows for the den. On He pushed on it so much that he broke a big ass, like, I want to say, a big ass, like, half circle piece off. So he decides to climb through this shit. And on the, in the process, he cuts his forearm. Not that deep. Like, whatever. And then he cuts his back left leg. Like, right above his little toe where, like, you know like kind of cut his arm but nothing came off he just had a gash but it wasn't that deep anyways it's just like mid-range you know <sighs> and this motherfucker i don't know how long he was in the house doing all this shit but he walked all over the carpet got all the carpet bloody as fuck got blood all over the fucking kitchen the kitchen floor all the way down to the hallway to the rooms got into our room also got our room dirty climbed on the bed walked on my clothes it looked like a fucking murder scene straight out of a fucking movie but i mean this is fucking dog and man let me tell you what was supposed to be like a good friday ended up being very depressing and like it's completely out of your fucking power, which sucks balls, but I mean, that's just life, man. It is fucking great sometimes. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, that was that was yesterday's day. Today's a new day. And like I mentioned, we're gonna hit up the OC fair. And hopefully we can uh we can sneak in the, the alcohol we plan on. So we we did it last year too. We brought in our own vodka because it's a lot cheaper to sneak in your own alcohol buy a juice there and 
You know. Oh yeah, there was a fucking there was a stabbing there the other day. The other day, like last week, some dude stabbed somebody, and then they have never found the dude who it was. So that's something to uh, <laughs> to be on the lookout for. You know, don't get on anybody's nerves. But that's Orange County for you. Ah! I just got these beautiful motherfuckers cleaned. They pearly white. They little, cause I grind my teeth a lot. But they're pretty. Nah, JK. They're clean though, so. Now I'm gonna go spend money and fix my hybrid battery. Fuck my life. So, I'm out here. At, uh, at the hybrid battery place in Stanton. So, quick update, it's 3.30 now, and we went to PetSmart, we bought Poe some food because he, uh, we bought Poe some food because his food's running out, so got some new stuff. Emily's sister, my girlfriend's sister, took us out to go get some breakfast because we're broke bitches and she helped us out, super cool, good breakfast. Now we're just getting everything ready so that we can sneak in the vodka to the OC fair and getting ready really. So that's all you've missed, three hour gap. But skip straight to when we get to the fair. But before uh, we go out to the OC fair, we want to try to sneak this in not the full bottle obviously well quantity wise yes but not that actual bottle so on amazon i bought these little like clear flask capri sun looking things it's like eight bucks maybe for the three pack so hopefully this one for sure we can bring this in like easy to sneak in it's a fucking capri sun size this one a little harder but Sure we can make it happen the bigger 32 ounce is a little bit of an issue but depending how tight security is we'll try to figure it out but honestly uh we're all ready to turn up and that's exactly what we're gonna do today <laughs> So we're on a mission to find Kamara. So let's do that. What up, bro? How you doing, man? What's going on, man? This dude's like, bro, get me the fuck out of here, bro. Stop looking at me. We're out here now. And we're checking out the horses. Everybody's caught up in all that stuff. And it's pretty chill, but we'll see. Can I touch you? Let me touch you. <laughs> Damn, it'd be like that. Why not? Just don't bite me. Don't bite me. Oh my god. <laughs> Shout out to all these lambs. <laughs> Shout out to the number 0679. <laughs> but we're pretty late. It's been a productive day. We've had a lot of alcohol. The whole fucking bottle is around right now. I'm fucked up. Bro, I know what I'm gonna do. What's in here? Is there alcohol in here? It's always scheduled, you know what I mean? Fuck it. Yummy. Fuck it. 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 
Hey Mondo, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> you chilling? Did you throw up already? Did you feel better? <laughs> We're ending the day now at Mondo. Está bien pedo el güey. What's up, Mondo? How are you feeling, man? Not so good? It'd be like... Oh, look at these. I thought we were losing someone else. Yeah. We're good, we're good. He smelled the fry. He said a yeep. Deceased. Are you good, bro? Oh my God, we are. You feel better now? <laughs> okay, later, man. Though. Later, man. Thanks for coming by, man. <laughs> good luck, Miles. <laughs> Let us know when you're home. His back is. Well, and if we can learn anything from all this today, is to grow your own weed. <laughs>